So now we're gonna make striped bass with my version of chimichurri sauce. So we're gonna grill our, sea, our striped bass and then we're gonna just sprinkle on a little bit of our golden green great sauce. So first we're gonna take our fish, which we have removed the head, they've been filleted and deboned, and we're gonna cut a little bit of lemon wedges, actually lemon slices, relatively thin. And we're gonna place those inside the cavity of the fish. About three will do. With some fresh basil from my garden. And that look good. Maybe a couple of chives. Let's give it a little sprinkle of salt. And we'll close our cavity. And do the same for the next one. We're gonna close the cavity back. And drizzle on. I like to use grapeseed oil and just rub the skin slightly. And as soon as your grill is hot, we're going to put those on. In the meantime, let's head on over to our mini Cuisinart. We're going to put together our chimichurri sauce. But let me go get a couple things out of the fridge first. We need anchovy and we need Dijon mustard. A little, oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's drop a little of our green oven, onion. Just rough chop your green onion. And we're gonna sprinkle that into the Cuisinart first. Followed by, again, some of those fresh basil leaves. A bunch of that chive, that fresh chive. Mmm, smells so good. I have some fresh parsley flat leaf parsley. Open our Dijon mustard. We want oh, a good teaspoon of that. It gives it body and substance and some really yummy flavor. And then one of these anchovy fillets for a salty flavor. Maybe a little grind of salt. and a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Since we have a half a lemon left from our sea bass, squeeze that in, all that juice run down. Catch the seeds in your other hand. You don't want those seeds grinding in your food processor. <laughs> Taste it. Perfect. It's gonna go great on the fish. Let's head on outside and grill our striped bass. Throw our onion on just for fun. Here's our sea bass. Or a striped bass. I keep calling it sea bass. It's striped bass. That we want to sear on both sides. So let's serve it on one side and it'll be about half, three or four minutes and we'll flip it over and we'll sear it on the other side. Okay. Oh, it opened. Right too hot. Bring it down a little. Oh, look, our fish flipped over itself. <laughs> Doesn't that look good, though? Phenomenal. Ooh, our onion's a little black. Let's take that off. <laughs> Put that up. Put my tongs here. See that one uh, curled itself. See that seared crust? Just got to flip the whole way over. Just another quick minute because it's pretty cooked through. Yeah. That's the other that's like that still. Let's move our fish to our plate. Let's move our fish here. Woo! This is what happens when your fish got too hot too fast. But still, it's going to taste delicious. Get our little lemon. Let's turn this off. And we'll bring it in and drizzle it with a little sauce. <laughs> we'll get 
get a little plate. I just cut through that gently. This is really rustic cooking at its best. You take a little piece of that fish with a little of this homemade chimichurri sauce. And there you have it. Little chive sticking out still. That looks yummy. Just really good. Grilled sea bass. Grilled striped bass with my version of chimichurri at GinaBell.com.